in the right direction, and uh, he's expecting big things out of this group. Off we go from Coral Gables. Pitt controls it first, 11 and four overall, two and two in conference. Right away, he matches up with Chris Likes. We told that they used to duke it out in high school, and Likes finds Cam McGusty, the redshirt junior, the transfer from Oklahoma. I think a lot of people really underestimate his player development as you take a look at a backdoor cut. I go back to when he had Shane Larkin. Shot clock at five. Here's McGusty. DJ Vasilovic. He is a knockdown shooter. don't turn it over uh, they're a very good team I know that might sound simplistic but that has been an issue with them at times and McCusty hits a tough one in the face of Tony 11 nothing Miami them 32 but likes his team got the win and he definitely let us know how many he had as we take a look at more good ball movement by Miami familiar with each other uh, but early on in this game, Miami really has done a nice job breaking down this pit D. I think they're Miami on the other end. They continue to execute, and they're getting high percentage shots. McGusty back door. Got the late notice from his teammates in the crowd there. Johnson was nearly out of control, and Brown rattles in the jumper. He swirls one out. Let's see if McGowan's can get involved. Yes, good from three for Trey McGowan's, the sophomore coming off 24 on Wednesday. Johnson and Trey McGowan's, uh, two of the better guards in the ACC, and uh, they can heat up very quick. After Pitt fell behind 16-0 here on the road, Murphy off the shot fake. Boy, he is a great shooter as well when he's going well, and we had some fun chatting with him earlier this season. Can keep inching closer. Johnson drives, dishes, Brown slams. Johnson gets downhill again. Champagny, two-point game, and a timeout Miami. Jeff Capel has said throughout the season it might not be pretty for us offensively this year, but we're going to have to hang our hat on defense. There's a jumper for McGowan. Pick and roll play that time by McGowan. Matched up with likes. High off the window. Miami puts you in so many ball screens. Likes from the elbow this time. Beverly, nice dump off for Miller. Got his own miss. Miller on the stick back. Other end, McGowan's. Bouncing off bodies much like Chris Likes. McGusty matched up with McGowan's. They both have 10 already. McGusty rises and connects. How about this first half for Cam McGusty? Yeah, he's been banged up this year as well. He missed the game earlier with his own back issues. Off the turnover, McGowan's lays it in. Talk to so many coaches around this league. They talk about those two guards for Pitt getting downhill on him. Wong doing just that for Miami to the 10. Back for his classmate. Good ball movement. Now McGusty on the baseline with a floater. 15 first half points for Cam McGusty. Likes off the shot fake. Into the mid-range. Family head fake went by, raised right up into his jumper. Champagny. Goes up strong at Wardenburg after a rocky first half for the freshman Champagny. Speaking of hesitations, Magusti had one. And now Vasilovic rises and connects. DJ Playing him. Uh, they are loading up. Everybody knows he has beyond NBA range. Wow! How about Chris Likes? He's just a handful uh, to match up against. Vasilovic on the step through. Different ways to get buckets. For Coach Q and Syracuse. Xavier Johnson hangs in the air, and Pitt's going to apply pressure. Either a linebacker or the tight end position. Not sure too many people would be able to match up against him. 
Vagusti going one on one with his first second half points up to 17 overall. Uh, and in particular early on to start this game off. Likes the dump off for Rodney Miller. He is setting his teammates up uh, for some easy buckets around the basket. There's a shot that falls. That's the 11th made field goal for Pitt compared to nine turnovers that they've had. Forced it up with the shot clock winding down amid a trap. Tony goes up strong for two. Miller, no. So a couple of stops for Pitt. Now can they convert it into offense? Brown sinks up with McGowan's this time. Johnson with three fouls and four turnovers in this one. Shot clock at five. Vasilovic banks it in over the top of Murphy. Murphy got this one. The margin is a dozen with Pitt on an 11-3 run. McGowan slicing and dumping it off for two on the baseline from Champagny. You said you'd love the pressure too, and with the short bench we know Miami has, you can see the bigs are panting out there for Miami. Now it's down to eight. Second consecutive time up the court, tried to throw it into the backcourt. McGowan's nearly brought it down. Wardenberg went up to meet him. See a 17-3 run these last six minutes. McGusty pulls up with a floater. Shot clock below 10. McGowan spinning and falling away. Banks that in. Tony on the drive. Left it short. Got his own miss and found Brown for two. We got a four-point game with six to go in Coral Gables. Beverly's runner is good over the top of the shot blocker, Brown. McGowan's in a scramble. Finds Brown again for two more. I'm not sure how McGowan's got that pass through there. He wants it. McGowan's turns it over and a run out for Beverly. With the flush. Murphy. Tough shot, no. The tip at the rim for Adi's Tony. Adi's Tony. High ball screen. Instead, Miller. And the foul. A six point margin, just under 320 left. McGowan's back down to four. So far, as close Great as Pitt has gotten. Harland Beverly, the freshman, found Wardenberg, who stayed patient for a big two. Dealing with the right knee tendonitis that brought him into the training room at 10 a.m. today. Wardenberg, what a great cutoff ball. Eye off the glass, and Beverly the rebound. On the run out, Beverly lays it in. The action, make a nice layup. Adi's Tony cans a three. Seven point game. Miller at the rim to meet Tony. Larinaga has said, I don't think any team in the country has a harder schedule in January. And it's a pit team that's been playing very well, but Miami handles the Panthers to get its second ACC win.